You could be forgiven for being a little confused when trying to decipher what Jose Mourinho's agenda is at Tottenham Hotspur. Because at his old stomping ground, Stamford Bridge, for all intents and purposes, it didn't look as though he had any interest in winning the game. Even his post-game presser suggested it, as he highlighted the deficiencies in his squad. We have zero strikers on the pitch, zero strikers on the bench, and zero strikers in the stands. We have two in the hospital. <laughs> and that's, that's the situation. You know, it's an incredible, incredible negative uh, uh, situation. So, okay, Harry Kane, one of the top number nines in the world, is injured. Their usual stand-in, Son Kyung Min, is injured. But what's that proverb again? A bad workman always blames his tools. Yeah? Well then, by that measure, Mourinho is a bad workman. It's not like the likes of Sean Dyche at Burnley or Dean Smith at Aston Villa moan about their personnel following defeats to Chelsea. But no, rather than actually trying to win a game, Mourinho would much rather make the hole up front even more glaring so that he isn't the one who's blamed when they inevitably fail. It's not like this is anything new from the Portuguese. He basically spent his entire two and a half years at Manchester United whinging about centre-backs, and his second stint at Chelsea wasn't much different. So much for that vow when he first arrived in North London. I realised that during my career, I also made mistakes and I'm not going to make the same mistakes. I'm going to make new mistakes, uh, not the same mistakes. And his behavior is hardly a surprise for the Spurs faithful. Some even saw it coming when he first replaced Mauricio Pochettino. He's very much a Marmite type of character. You'll either love him or you'll hate him. Um, I love him for the fact that he gets results. Um, he has his own style. It's very, very different to, to Pochettino's style. When it comes to the results, aside the top two of Liverpool and Manchester City, Spurs have the best record in the Premier League since Mourinho took over. So that's been good. If, of course, you believe in quantitative statistics, which Mourinho admitted he doesn't before facing Chelsea. Stats are what it is, and sometimes stats are very silly especially when sometimes people try to identify what is what I call the quantitative stats and forgets that football is much more about the qualitative stats, um, especially regarding players' performances. Uh, everything is qualitative and not quantitative. So by Mourinho's own reckoning, his time at Spurs hasn't been good, because qualitatively speaking, it's been far from pretty, with his negative long ball game plan only highlighted further by the free-flowing, expansive style that came before it under Poch. Now, Mourinho may point at the lack of Kane and Son in recent weeks for that. But really, we only need go back once more to his unveiling in November to pinpoint who's really to blame. You never lose your, uh, your DNA, you never lose your identity. You are what you are for the good things, for the bad things. And it hasn't gone unnoticed, with former Arsenal defender Martin Keown providing possibly the most brutal assessment. Saying, I just look at Mourinho now and think, has Mourinho's time been and gone? Before adding, I'm struggling to see what he does as a manager now. Spurs will stick by him as long as Champions League football remains a possibility. But if it doesn't, all the excuses in the world wouldn't prevent Keown's opinion that Mourinho's time has been and gone becoming everyone's opinion. Thanks for watching. For more great content on all things football, make sure you hit the subscribe button.